What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Trey, and I'm back with that pressure, man. I'm back with that pressure. Now, as y'all see by the title, today, y'all, I got a Q&A video for y'all. Um, I think on my channel, y'all, I've only done one Q&A by myself, so today will be the second one. I'm not trying to oversaturate my page with Q&A, 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 but... This might be my last one, but I don't know what the future holds. So I'm not, I'm not gonna say this is for sure the last one, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to oversaturate with Q&As. But look, y'all, before we get into the video, before we get into the video, this is for my money makers right here. You feel me? If you're interested in another quick, simple, easy way you can make money, let me put you on real quick before we get started into this video. All right, look, y'all, so I'm about to show y'all how to do it. It's really simple and easy, and it's quick, so it won't take you long at all. So look. Say you watching one of my videos, right? And you could do it from this video as well. All you're going to have to do, click on that description. You feel me? Go to my description. And then that first link y'all see right there where it says make quick cash, money, dollar sign, whatever you want to call it. You click that link right there. Now, once you click that link, it's going to take you here. And in this link, I have a bunch of gift cards, voucher codes, a whole bunch of stuff I'm sure that y'all can use. You know what I'm saying? So, say you want to do cash out right say you want to do cash out all you got to do answer these three questions simple and easy once you answer those three questions it's going to ask you to put your email in now put a valid email in that works so you can receive your confirmation email so put an email in woo, 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 woo. after you put that in press continue once you press continue it might pop up talking about deals or something all you have to do just do one deal and you can do one as simple as downloading a game and once you do that, wait patiently for your confirmation email. You will receive it. Just wait patiently. And that's all you got to do. If y'all need help, y'all can DM me on Instagram. That's also in my description. Let's get into this video. All right, y'all. So I just showed y'all how to do that. So I hope y'all can go make some quick, easy money. But look, y'all, we ready for the video. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the video? All right, bet. Let's get into it. So look, I dropped um, the little question box on my Instagram story and basically telling people, you know, ask me questions that they want answers to or, you know, stuff they want to know about when it comes to me. So they did that, you know what I'm saying? I posted that on my story four hours ago. I did that four hours ago, so it's a good amount of um, questions up in there, so we're going to get into it. I'm going to read it off my phone. But if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Join the gang, join the family. We welcome you with open arms, man. We welcome you with open arms. Join the gang, join the family, bro. Y'all like the video up. I don't know how many likes we aiming for. So can y'all just run it up for me? It takes less than a second. And also, I know y'all see like I got a TV and stuff. Y'all probably can't really see the couch and stuff. But y'all, my crib is pretty much fully furnished. I just gotta get a few more little things, you know what I'm saying? Like a rug, probably like a little ottoman or a table, a little table, you know what I'm saying? That I can put in that area by the couch or whatever. But for the most part, my crib is fully furnished. I'm going to be giving y'all a furnished apartment tour real soon, you feel me? So I know y'all probably like, boy, this boy got a TV and move up. Why he ain't dropped that? I'm going to drop it for y'all soon, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, I'm done talking. Let's get into this thing, man. Let's get into it. First question, if you do any other career besides what you do now, what would it be? Um, I would probably most likely do acting, you know what I'm saying? I would be an actor because when I was younger... Many of y'all don't know this, but when I was younger, I was in commercials, you know what I'm saying? I was auditioning for movies and stuff. I was um, in photo shoots, magazines, all types of stuff. Yeah, if, I'm, if I wasn't doing this, you know what I'm saying? I'd probably pursue acting. But my thing is, which is my fault, I can do both. You know what I'm saying? I can do both. I just got to really get to it. And eventually I am, you know what I'm saying? Eventually I am. So when y'all see me on the big screen and doing stuff like that, Y'all can come back to the video and be like, he did say, you know, woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's, if you know, if I wasn't doing this, I would probably be doing acting. I can see myself fitting that the best, you know. But um, next question. How do you feel staying by yourself? Y'all, I love it. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I'm not gonna cap. I love staying by myself. Honestly, like, I have my, I have my own peace. You know what I'm saying? I have peace. I got I got my mind. I got my space to think and operate. I love it, honestly. And, you know, um, yeah, this is just a big accomplishment for me. This is like a really, really big accomplishment. 
and milestone for me, so I, I truly do love it. I really, 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 really love it, no cap. How you been mentally and physically? I have been probably at my highest, y'all. Like, this is the honest truth. I've probably been at my highest mentally that I've ever been. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm truly happy. Like, I'm happy within, I'm happy out. I'm ha I'm happy on the side. I'm happy on the on the right side, on the left side, on the up, on the down, inside, outside, bro. I'm truly happy. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the happiest I've been, the best mental space I've been in in a long time or my whole life like yeah, I I'm doing I'm doing real good and I'm truly happy. And physically I'm doing pretty well as well. Um I wanted to this year get in the gym more, you know what I'm saying? Cuz if y'all don't know Back then, I used to hoop. I was a hooper. So, you know, I was always in shape. I was in well condition. Bro, now, you feel me? I, I'll jog a little bit, and I'm, I'm dying, bro. Like, I'm over here, like, breathing like a, a just out of shape gorilla or something. Like, I don't know. It just be, it just be bad. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to, this year, make it my business to go get in the gym, run, jog, get in shape, get in condition. I know the best way for me to do that, like if I'm not just in the gym on the treadmill or something, is literally going to the gym and hoop. Just go hoop, you feel me? Go run, get some cardio in. That's the best way for me because I love hooping. You feel me? Like, I love, love, love hooping dearly, you know what I'm saying? Favorite sport always will be my favorite sport and anytime it's a basketball in front of me and if it's a hoop, I'm going to shoot. You feel me? I'm going to shoot, I'm going to play. Nah, so that's just me because I really do love it. But, Overall, mentally and physically, I've been good, and hopefully, you know, I pray to God that that continues to be that way, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I hope that answered that question or that question asker. <laughs> Anybody you got your eye on? Um, uh, nah, not really. I really don't. Like, that's the honest truth. I really don't. Like, I don't, I don't really just got my eye on somebody, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, I don't know. I wouldn't have my eye on them. I'll pursue. Like, I'll go after it. Like, I, I'm not going to be on the sidelines just, you know, oh, I got my eye on them. I'm just lurking. Like, nah, if I want them, I'm going to pursue, you know what I'm saying, go get them. Now, I'm not no chaser, though. I'm not a chaser. I'm not going to chase you, you feel me? I, my thing about chasing is, how I feel about chasing is, we grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will pursue a little bit, but I'm not about to chase, chase, chase. I'm not doing that because I, I feel like when when it's two grown people and, and mature people, if you like me and I like you, why are you going to make me chase? Or, like, what's the point of doing that? Like, nah, that's, mm -mm, that's dry. But, nah, I, I really don't have my eye on anybody to be honest, like, I, I've really been focused on myself, dead serious, focused on myself, and it's been the best thing for me, honestly. Like, I've really been focused on myself. And like, you know how a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm trying to focus on myself, but they really cabin, they really dealing with somebody, or they really got their eye on somebody, like that last question I asked, or, you know what I'm saying? Like me, Nah, I've really been focused on myself for real. And I, that's been the best thing for me. Like, honestly, that's been the best thing for me. Like, it's, uh, it, it allowed, like, me focusing on myself really allowed me just to figure myself out more, love myself more, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, figure out what, really what, like, I like to do. My likes, my dislikes, like it just allowed me to figure myself out more. I mean, I'm young, I'm 20, so I'm still figuring things out for real, you know? But like by me focusing on myself for real, for real, like dead serious, for real, for real, it's helped me, it's benefiting me. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't got my eye on nobody for real. I, I'm really focused on myself and I mean that. So yeah, now, 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 now. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if somebody going to come along, you feel me, and I fall for them. Because you can't, you can't force or control, like, your feelings for somebody if it's like that. If it gets to that point, it's no way you can control it. Like, it's no way you control it. It'll happen naturally, you feel me? So, 
if that happens, hey, it happens. But I'm not looking for that or I'm not searching for it. Like, if it just comes, it's going to come naturally. But as of now, I'm truly focused on myself and that's been the best thing for me. So, I hope I answered that question well. On to the next one. Is what's your goals for the rest of the year? So, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this. Um, to this question, that's not a bad question at all. That's not a bad question at all. But me personally, when it comes to my goals and like my visions and all that, I don't really speak on that or I don't really let people know too much. Or if I do let people know, it's only a slight few, but I really don't be telling my goals or what I really want to do or, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like um, you never know who's, who's speaking down on you. Or you never know who's speaking down on your goals and your your thoughts or what you want for yourself. You feel me? Because you can tell somebody something, and the the tongue is real powerful. So you never like you never know who's speaking down on your goals or speaking down on you. And even the Bible says, bro, death and life is in the power of the tongue. You know what I'm saying? So it's that powerful. The tongue is that powerful. So you never know who who's speaking down or trying to manifest your downfall or something like that. So I personally don't be speaking on my goals or things of that nature. So yeah, I guess I'm not gonna answer that question, but I was just explaining, you know what I'm saying? Explaining, cause it's probably other people out there that can relate and think the same way as me. So yeah, but next question. When do you want a kid? Um, hmm. Honestly, I'll say, I want a kid, my first kid at least, probably when I'm 25, 26. You know what I'm saying? Like 25, 26, 27 range. I don't want to have um, my first kid in my 30s. I still want to be in my 20s. So I, I think 25, 26, or like 27, that age range is good. You know, I feel like that's going to be perfect. But yeah, around that age range, around that age range is when I'm going to want my first kid. Um, and I really would be perfectly fine with a girl or a boy. It don't matter which one I have, a girl or a boy. Because, you know what I'm saying? I do want a little me. I do want a boy. I do want a, you know, a mini version of me. But on the other hand, too, I would not have no problem with having a girl, bro. That girl, like, if I have a girl, bro, she going to be spoiled, bro. Like, she's going to be spoiled, bro. Like, it's going to be crazy. Like, if I have a baby girl, she is going to be spoiled to death, bro. I'm not going to lie. Now, with my kids, though, you feel me? With my kids, they not. it's not just going to be absolutely spoon-fed, though. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to learn some things on their own, do some things on their own, get some tough love here and there. You know what I'm saying? It's not just going to be, oh, you a brat. I'm not, now, I'm not going to deal with no brat, though. Like, you feel me? You don't get your way, you whine. Like, you're going to have to learn in life. It's not always going to be yes, yes, yes. So that's what I'm going to make sure I teach my kids and just make sure I'm there for them. You know what I'm saying? Whenever I do have my first kid, my goal, I just want to make sure they good. My kids, you know what I'm saying? That's it. If I do have a baby girl, bro, she will be spoiled. Not going to lie. And I'm, I'm going to make sure with my baby girl that she's going to have that male figure in her life. Like she's going to have... A male figure in her life which is gonna be me and you know other people around me like she gonna have a good support system too of males you know what I'm saying from my family but head honcho she gonna know she can always come to her dad for anything and she not gonna have to go out there into the world and look for validation out of other dudes you feel me that's what well, my daughter she gonna know that like she's going to know that so her standards her morals her goals her principles gonna be up here they're going to be out the roof, especially when it comes to dudes, especially when it comes to dudes, because I'm going to off the rip, teach her and make sure she knows she ain't going to ever have to go out there in the world and look for dudes for validation because she don't have a male figure in her life. Nope. I'm going to be there. Trisky going to be there. You feel me? And that's for, for whether I have a boy or girl, I'm going to be there. You know what I'm saying? But I just know for a girl, I'm going to make sure of that, too. And, um, and the boy, too. Because boys having male figures, to me, is important as well. So, I'm going to definitely be there strong for my boy, for my little mini-me. You know what I'm saying? My little guy. I'm going to be there and make sure he know, too, that if he needs something, he can come to his dad. He need advice, he can come to his dad. Like, he not just going to have to make 
crazy decisions without without guidance, you know what I'm saying? Like make wild decisions without guidance or cause he didn't have no help or felt like he couldn't go to nobody. Nope. He gonna have me. You feel me? That's his male figure that he can come to anytime. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna try to guide him the best way that I can from my experiences and just from what I know. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, probably like 25, 26, 27. In that age range, that's when I want a kid. Are you single? Yes, I am single. Single, single, single. Don't attach my name to nobody. You feel me? Not one soul. Don't attach my name to them at all because I am single. I'm me. Big RNS. Just RNS. You feel me? Just me. Just me. Don't attach my name to nobody. None of that. I'm me. I'm single. And yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm vibing. And I'm having a great time being by myself. Not gonna lie. But I answered that question pretty quickly. So. Alright, this next question asks, what makes you upset? What makes you mad? Um, I would say something that do make me mad. Like, I got a pet peeve. I got a pet peeve that will get me upset. Now, I, I don't. You feel me? I'm not just going to rage, go crazy. You feel me? Super Saiyan mode. But I got a pet peeve. When people talk over me, bro, like, like say I'm talking first and I'm talking. Like, say I'm talking to somebody else and I'm talking, woo, woo, and somebody just come and cut me off and talk about something totally different. Boy, I get upset like this. I get upset like, uh, quick, because it's like, like, your eyes not working. Like, you don't see me talking. You feel me? That's how I be feeling like, yo, I like, what, your eyes don't work, your ears don't work, you don't see and hear me talking, you feel me? You just gonna come and, like, you dry, you dry. That, that really gets me, like, upset quick. And, like, I used to, you feel me, I used to get real mad, I probably, like, spazz a little bit about it, but now, when somebody do that, I just be quiet, and I, I go, because I know how I get, you feel me? So, I just be quiet, and I go somewhere else. Or I'll just be quiet and just get on my phone or something. And then eventually they'll know. They'll be like, my bad, you feel me? Without me even saying anything, because, yeah, you dry did that, you feel me? But um, another thing that gets me upset, i say is, uh, i say just like being a pathological liar, you feel me? And just like lying for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could be about something like, um, I don't know. It could be something so simple, and it's just like they lie about it for no reason. Like, oh, this, I just asked, you feel me, what color the sky is? You know what I'm saying? I can't see it right now. I just asked you what color the sky is. You tell me purple, and I find out it's, it's blue. You telling me purple, but it's blue. Like, you just draw a line. You feel me? So, I, I don't like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Or that kind of could get me upset, I guess, a little bit. Um, what up? Oh. Another thing that gets me upset is disloyalty, bro. Like fakeness, like fakeness and disloyalty. Mm -mm. If you if you got any percentage of that in you, bro, like any percentage, any, bro, like if you got zero point one percent of fake in you, I don't want you around me. If you got zero point one percent of disloyalty in you. I don't want you around me. It's that simple. Like I do not want you around me at all, bro. At all, because I know me, bro. Like for people I rock with and I'm really locked in with and close with and love. You feel me? I'm loyal to them. Loyal, loyal, a hundred percent loyal. Ain't no disloyal bone in my body, bro. I am loyal. You feel me? I'm loyal. And I, I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about, like, with friendships, too. All that. Like, bro, I'm loyal. I, I never, never, like, go around doing people wrong, stabbing them in their back, back door. No, that ain't me, bro. And if if anybody I sent, I even sense that in you and you around me, I sense that you got to get from around me, bro. And I'm going to tell you, like, or I'm going to distance, or I'm going to go on my way. I'm going to go my separate way. But my circle, bro, my circle... I got a circle of, of real niggas, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, and, and real people, you feel me, real people, like my circle is full of real people, and we're all able to, when we feel like each other's wrong on something, talk to each other, tell each other about it, like that's what I do like about my support system and people 
that I have around me, you feel me? We can be honest with each other. We don't gotta be fake. We ain't gotta be yes men. I can't stand no yes man either. I'm not a yes man. My homies ain't no yes man. My family, my not yes men. And if I feel like you won, like I might even test you, you feel me? See what you gonna say. And you just drop me in the yes man, note it in my head. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that gets me upset too. This loyalty and, and, um, yeah, that gets me upset. Being disloyal and just being fake. I can't stand it. That, that really do get me upset. It, it boils, like, it, it boils me. It really boils me. Like, it, it boils, it boils my skin, bro. I can't, I can't deal with it. No doubt. But, uh, that's probably it. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably it. Oh, disrespect too. Like, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't rock with disrespect. You feel me? I don't like it. I'm sure nobody likes to be disrespected at all. You feel me? But yeah, that, I don't, I don't like that. I don't think, um, that's acceptable. I don't think nobody should accept that. I don't think nobody should take disrespect. You feel me? Um, I just, I just don't like that. Cause I know I don't just be disrespectful to people. I know I don't drive be disrespectful to people. So that's another thing I don't like, you know, and it, it'll probably get me upset, you know, depending on, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. but yeah, I, I just, I don't like disrespect. So that's something else that, that can get me upset too. Not gonna lie. That is something else, but those are probably the main things. The things I said is probably majority of the main things. I probably covered most of it, not going to lie. So, on to the next question. What country do I want to visit the most? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know how I feel about going to other countries, honestly, because I know how I am. I know I'd be on 10. I'd be on my P's and Q's and... I like to know where I'm at. You feel me? I, I like to know how to maneuver and all that. And even when I go to different states and stuff, I'm still I still don't entirely know how to move. Like in different states and different cities and all that. I still don't entirely know how to move. But I'm still in my country, you feel me? So I kinda can catch on a little bit quicker. In other countries, I don't I don't hey. I ain't gonna know, you feel me? I don't know what tradition they got going on. I don't know what they take as disrespect. I don't know what they don't tolerate, you feel me? Like, I I honestly don't know. So I kinda got some hesitance in me, if that's a word. Oh, I'm kinda hesitant when it comes to going to other countries, but I'm probably, I'm sure I'm gonna break out of that because I know I'm gonna want to at least experience going to another country. But as of now, I'm kinda. Eh, about it. I'm, I'm a little eh about it. I would probably say I would actually like to go to the UK. You feel me? Like I would actually like to go to the UK and see um how it is out there. I know things are different in the UK. You feel me? Like I I know a few things that are different out there. But you know what I'm saying? It seemed it seemed cool though. It seemed like it could be a vibe. It'll be fun. Like you feel me? Especially the accents and stuff out there. Like. That'd be cool to actually hear and experience and to be around. But uh, I'll probably say, yeah, the United Kingdom. Like, you feel me? Probably out there in the UK, I'll probably, yeah. I feel like I would most likely like to go to the UK the most. You feel me? But my my it might change. It might change over time. I don't know how that's going to go. But I could say probably the UK as of now. No cap. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much the last question that I have for y'all. Um, I also got to say one thing real quick, y'all. In, in the Q&As, um, you feel me? A lot of people ask the same question. Y'all know what question I'm really talking about, probably. Um, I just asked, bro. Bro, you feel me? Like, I just asked, um, can y'all stop, you know, asking me certain questions about things in the past, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's a new year, too, so it's like, Things in the past need to be left in the past. It's, it's all in the past for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's there for a reason. I'm only looking forward. So that's what I just ask y'all to do and stop bringing up things from the past. You feel me? 
know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know people still gonna do it, but I'm just asking the real ones, you feel me? And I know a lot of y'all don't mean harm for real. I know a lot of y'all don't don't mean nothing bad by it. But that's just my request. I ask that y'all do that. So yeah, thank y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all watched the full video. If you watched the full video, you are a real one. You know that I really appreciate y'all. Appreciate the love. 2023, we gonna run it up, bro. So I hey, I hope y'all ready. I'm truly ready for this year and I can't wait to um you know experience different things and have fun, just have a blast and and really, you know, elevate myself this year. I can't I can't wait. But once again, thank y'all. I really appreciate y'all for all the support. I love every single one of my supporters. I love every single one of y'all. So thank y'all. Once again, like this video and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. It's weird if you just watch me. You know what I'm saying? And not subscribe. So make sure you subscribe and let me know what other videos y'all want to see. And yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. Thank y'all for watching. And your boy, check y'all again.